Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I'm Naya and it is week 65. Um, this week we are talking about intersecting identities. Um, so how my life of, or how, how I came to be today um, and with a trans partner, I guess, um, kind of, and how our identities intersect to become our relationship. That's what I'm pulling from this week's topic anyway. Um, it's kind of a tougher topic, I would say, so I'm going to dig in a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of just going to go back to how our paths crossed, and um, then I'll kind of talk about how, like, how our path pasts um, kind of play into where we're, how we became together and um, all that kind of stuff. So, um, obviously, I, if you've watched some of my earlier videos, you know... Um, Taryn and I met a long time ago, um, over 10 years ago, actually like 13 years ago. I was still in high school, um, and we met, um, through a big bullseye named Target. Um, he was already working there, and I started working there. Um, I was, I was an M younger than Taryn, um, and so once... Our paths crossed at Target, um, and we really got to know one another. I, f I feel there was almost an instant kind of connection between us, and we became fast friends. Um, we were together all the time. Um, me, Taryn, uh, one of my best friends, and then we had another friend that also worked at Target with us, and the four of us were pretty much inseparable. We were together all the time. Um, and then, you know, after a couple of years, um, we separated. We both got into relationships with other people. And um, we kind of, our lives took a little bit of a turn away from each other. But um, after about a year, we kind of got back together. Our friendship rekindled. I was going through some really tough times with the relationship I was in at the time as well as my mom being really sick and passing away and Taryn, like any good friend, was there for me. Um, through those tough times, he also started going through some tough times and through all of that, um, we were definitely there for each other and our strong friendship um, and our, is, is really what got us to where we are today and that's what kindled our relationship was just having this fundamental of a great friendship um, now again I like I mentioned well I'm gonna go kind of towards our past um, we both grew up in the same neighborhood kind of in the same suburb of Sacramento um, obviously many years apart well not many but several years apart um, from opposite sides of the tracks um, literally there's a train tracks that divide kind of the suburb and I lived on one side and he lived on another um, but definitely never our, our ages are enough apart that we never went to school together had any mutual friends or anything like that um, but we lived in the same neighborhood basically both our lives <clears throat> and it wasn't until we both were at Target that our paths crossed. Growing up my mom, um, I grew up in a lesbian house, my mom and her partner raised me now they were not out of the closet, they definitely tried to hide it from me um, but they still taught me um, love and unconditional love really um, so, later in life, um, I think Taryn and I kind of bonded because even though, well, I grew up in a very open house even though my mom was in the closet teaching love and Taryn didn't necessarily have that. Um, he grew up in foster care and not, his adoptive grandma was definitely an amazing woman, but I don't know as though... Um, 
the gay community um, was necessarily very open, like she was open to, or anything like that. So, Taryn grew up definitely struggling with any gay, queer, trans identity, um, and really held that back. And um, I also did, even though my house was so much more open. Um, my mom came out to me when I was 17. I then came out at 19 as a lesbian. Um, and it was, it was hard in my house. I definitely tried to hide it. And I think just because I wanted to fit in and be normal is more why I hid it. Um, whereas Taryn wanted the acceptance. So we both kind of bonded over that. And then, um, so I think our, our identities definitely crossed there, and as well, as well as us living in the same neighborhood growing up. Um, so I mean, we had a lot of common bases. Um, when I was younger, I used to get misgendered a lot. I always used to get asked, are you a boy or a girl? And I hated it, I hated it, I hated it. Um, I didn't. Again, I think maybe that kind of plays into my whole um, not wanting to to be different, wanting to be normal. You know, I, that so me hiding my my queer identity. So yeah, I feel like wow, I'm just rambling and rambling, and this isn't gonna make any sense. I really hope it does. Um, so anyways, there's some of the ways our paths intersect, and so then. Even though I thought I was getting into a relationship with a lesbian, when Taryn came out to me as being trans, um, I stayed open. It goes back to my base fundamental of being raised for unconditional love, and I fell in love with a person and not a gender. And therefore, I was able to, and, and, and am able to, separate that. Um, so yeah. Okay. I think I've rambled on enough this week's topic. Um, so everyone have a great week, and I will see you next week. Bye.